Sedna, the solar system's buried treasure. Planet Sedna is a distant and mysterious globe in our solar system's outer regions. It is the solar system's most distant known object and has been classed as a dwarf planet. Michael E. Brown discovered it in 2003 and named it Sedna after the Inuit deity of the water Sydney. Sedna is thought to be a remnant of the early solar system and it has captured the attention of astronomers all across the world exactly two decades later. Sedna has always perplexed astronomers because to its enigmatic character. According to the International Astronomical Union IAU, Sedna is a dwarf planet. It was formally classed as a dwarf planet in 2008, making it the IAU's third identified object. It is located beyond Neptune's orbit and is thought to be part of the Kuiper Belt, an area of icy bodies beyond Neptune's orbit. Hello and welcome to Z. In this video we try to discover the dwarf planet Sedna as a whole. Subscribe to the channel and discover more with us. A Summary of Sedna's Discovery The discovery of Sedna has had a tremendous impact on astronomy and astrophysics. The discovery of Sedna, the most distant object yet detected in the solar system, has provided astronomers with significant insights about the genesis and evolution of the outer solar system. The finding of Sedna has also contributed to the confirmation of the presence of the predicted Oort cloud, a large spherical shell of frozen objects that surrounds the solar system. Sedna's orbit is highly eccentric, and its perihelion distance from the Sun is far greater than that of any other known object in the solar system. This implies that Sedna is a member of the Oort cloud, and its discovery adds to the body of evidence supporting the concept. The finding of Sedna has also resulted in the development of new hypotheses about the genesis of the solar system. Its highly eccentric orbit shows that it may have been influenced by the gravitational pull of a passing star, causing it to be ejected out to its current location. This has led to the theory that the solar system was generated by the gravitational interaction of several stars. This is when things get fascinating for astronomers. Sedna's strange behavior could be attributed to a variety of external circumstances. Sedna's finding has also provided insight on the enigmatic planet 9. Its very eccentric orbit is comparable to those of other objects thought to be affected by planet 9's gravitational pull. This implies that planet 9 may exist, and its discovery could aid in unraveling the mysteries of the outer solar system. So many secrets are hidden behind Sedna's unknown knowledge. Imagine if this dwarf went on a space exploration. Such an event would be extremely beneficial to astronomers in their fields of study. We started with Sedna and worked our way down to Planet 9 and the Sun's interactions with other stars. Let's stick to Sedna for the time being. Planet 9 can wait. Characteristics of the body Sedna is a massive, reddish-brown dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, beyond Neptune's orbit. Sedna's surface is thought to be made up of a mix of water ice, methane ice, and tholins, which are organic molecules formed by ultraviolet radiation. Its surface temperature is believed to be roughly minus 240 degrees Celsius. The surface is assumed to be covered in craters, ridges, and other characteristics that were formed by impacts from other objects in the solar system. It has a thick covering of methane and nitrogen ice on its surface, which gives it a reddish-brown color. It has a thin layer of methane, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. It has a somewhat long rotation duration of roughly 20 days. The rotation of Sedna is also a mystery. It is thought to rotate incredibly slowly, taking nearly 10 days to complete one rotation, significantly slower than the other worlds beyond Neptune. Its rotation is also out of sync with its orbit. This shows that it was influenced by an external force, such as a passing star or another planet. Size and Weight It has a diameter of around 1,000 kilometers, making it roughly three-quarters the size of Pluto and the fourth-largest known trans-Neptunian object. Trans-Neptunian objects may be unfamiliar to you. Trans-Neptunian objects TNOs are tiny celestial bodies orbiting the Sun at a greater distance than Neptune. 
They are in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune's orbit. Dwarf planets, comets, and other tiny bodies are examples of TNOs. The Orbital Path Sidna's secrets are numerous and varied. For one thing, its orbit is extremely peculiar. It is one of the solar system's most distant objects, and its orbital path is steeply inclined to the plane of the solar system, implying that it is not in the same plane as the other planets. Its orbit is far longer than that of the other planets. Sidna is located in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune's orbit that is home to numerous icy planets. It has a highly elliptical orbital path, with a perihelion, closest approach to the Sun, of 76.1 astronomical units and an aphelion, farthest distance from the Sun, of 937 astronomical units. Sidna takes approximately 11,400 years to complete one orbit around the Sun. The orbit of Sidna is also important for understanding the dynamics of the outer solar system and the likely presence of a massive, undiscovered planet beyond Neptune. Origin Theories Sidna's origins are similarly unknown. It is thought to belong to the Kuiper Belt, an area of ice bodies beyond Neptune, but its precise origin is unknown. It could have been captured by the sun's gravity, or it could have developed in the outer solar system and then been captured by the sun. Some astronomers believe it is a dwarf planet, while others say it is a huge comet caught by the gravity of the sun. Others say it is an escaped Neptune moon that was blasted from the planet's orbit as a result of gravitational interactions with other objects in the solar system. The following are various hypotheses on Sidna's origin. 1. The Capture Theory According to this theory, Sidna was previously a component of a much larger entity, such as a planetesimal or a dwarf planet that was trapped by the Sun's gravitational force. 2. The Capture and Ejection Theory proposes that Sedna was originally a part of a much larger body grabbed by the gravitational attraction of a passing star. Sedna was thrown from its orbit by the star, propelling it to the solar system's outskirts. 3. Planet Formation Theory suggests that Sedna formed from the same cloud of gas and dust that produced the other planets in the solar system. 4. Migration Theory suggests that Sedna formed in the solar system's outer reaches and subsequently migrated inside due to gravitational interactions with other solar system objects. 5. Capture from Interstellar Space Theory According to this theory, Sedna was captured from interstellar space by the Sun's gravitational pull. Composition Sedna has a rocky core surrounded by a water ice mantle. Is it even possible? It appears to be at first glance, but space is strange. It is what it is, as the saying goes. The center is made up of silicate minerals like olivine and pyroxene, as well as maybe some iron nickel metal. The mantle is made up of a combination of water ice, methane ice, and ammonia ice. Sidna's composition is another enigma. It is thought to be mostly made of rock and ice, but the actual composition is unknown. Its reddish color indicates that it may include organic chemicals, however this has yet to be proven. Possibility of Habitability Sidna is located in the outer limits of the solar system and is too far from the sun to be deemed habitable. Its surface temperature is predicted to be roughly minus 240 degrees Celsius, which is much too cold for any known life form to survive. Furthermore, Sedna lacks an atmosphere and is subject to severe radiation levels, making any kind of life even less likely to survive there. Despite its hostile climate, some scientists believe Sedna may have an underground ocean of liquid water, which could provide habitat for extremophiles. However, the conditions on Sedna remain too harsh for any known form of life to exist, and more research is required to establish whether the planet is potentially livable. But when we say creatures, we mean the big ones, the ones that are as big as or bigger than humans. There may still be some microscopic organisms that may readily endure Sidna's extremes. The Significance of Sidna's Discovery Astronomers are continuously studying Sidna, a fascinating and strange world. 
Because of its peculiar orbit and composition, it is an important object for understanding the creation of the solar system. It is especially interesting because of its peculiar color, which may reveal information about the composition of the outer solar system. Sedna will definitely remain an important aspect of our understanding of the solar system as we learn more about it. Sedna's riddles are likely to stay unanswered for some time. Its peculiar orbit and composition make it an intriguing object to investigate, and its origin is likely to remain a mystery for many years to come. Nonetheless, research on Sedna is anticipated to yield vital insights on the genesis and evolution of the solar system. All right, everyone, here's where the video ends. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.